And now to NBC5 responds. The pesky problem that started in one suburban family ceiling and quickly took a costly turn. Some unwelcome roommates nearly cost a couple thousands of dollars and their insurance company wouldn't help. Here's Lisa Parker with a surprising reason why. The viewers in this next story say there was no doubt when they heard the telltale scurrying and scratching above their heads inside their home. A contractor then confirmed it. A family of raccoons had indeed moved in. Getting them out would be trickier and more expensive than this family says they would have ever guessed. As if Mike and Dorothy Doty didn't have enough on their plate, both recovering from recent surgery and planning their daughter's wedding. That was the, one of the main access areas. So the raccoons living in this ceiling added a whole extra layer. They got to come through the ceilings. Our living room was especially bad. It was wet. It, it's, it smelled horribly. A wild situation that took a hopeful turn, Mike says, after a call from his homeowner's insurance, State Farm. It was great relief. We, you know, we knew we had to cover our deductible. That was in March. Come June, Mike and Dorothy say the insurance giant did a 180. You're not covered, he says, un unless you have wild bears or deer in your house. Wild bears and deer covered. Raccoons, not so much. A surprising change in policy, Mike says. He was never told. And uh, so, well, we, you know, we live in the Chicago area. It's usually not too much of a problem with wild bears. So, it's a lot of money. What was a problem? And they gave us a quote. The more than seventeen thousand dollars the Doty say. And plus the painting. And they the now painting had to pay to fix the mess, and the eight people at State Farm who Mike says ignored his questions. The only response coming from his agent. An apology in the form of a gift card. I felt like, uh, you know, I don't have any options here. And then I thought of NBC because I had seen it on TV. And uh, I sent in your, your uh, application. And uh, next day you called. We called State Farm to ask why the family was first told yes, but then no after the work was completed. I've been a customer for 45 years, so there's really nothing you can do. <laughs> I asked about customer goodwill, and he says we don't have any. I said, I can, I can attest to that. But State Farm then reversed course, saying the family would be compensated for the majority of the work just north of $12,000. Adding, we are committed to handling each claim with care and we are open to reviewing and considering any additional information a policyholder may have to help us evaluate their claim during the claims process. The mother and the babies, they would, they would be walking across. The tenants in their ceiling now evicted. We expect to be paying $1,000 and you know you multiply that by uh, you know 17, it's, it's a bit of a shock. Mike and Dorothy say the all that money policy, they didn't they have to pay raccoon, will go straight into a much happier expense. How they did it? As expected, Mike and Dorothy say all of that money recovered went right into their daughter's wedding and just in time, it took place last weekend. Lisa Parker, NBC5 responds.